Hello, hello, Edson Oliveira here. This is the DNN tip of the week. And today we'll be talking a little bit about site files growing wildly and troubleshooting as well. And this is about the mechanism that DNN has with Log4Net to log information about errors, problems, debug information on log files and how to manage them from growing too big and what to do if you are facing a problem and you need more information, more details about that problem to help you troubleshoot in DNA. Before I tell you about the DNA tip of the week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their hosting environment for over seven years now. I trust them, I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. Okay, so first, let's have a look at where you can find the log4net configuration. So I'm logged in on DNA 911 as super user. I can go to the settings and I can go to config manager. That's one way you can select from the drop down. You can just pick the .net nuke .log 4 net .config file. That's one. You can also go straight to the site files and I'm running the site on my local system. I can just navigate to the root of my site and here's a text file. So I can go straight to the file or I can use the configuration manager. Let's use the configuration manager here. I want to bring to your attention two settings here that I find very, very interesting. First is that, actually three. First is that it specifies where you save the log files, which by default, it's under portals, the default folder and logs file, logs folder. That's where. Now, I want to bring to your attention as well the maximum file size that is specified. This means that on a daily basis, the maximum amount of data that will be logged is 10 megabytes. You can increase that if you are trying to troubleshoot something. You can decrease that as well. It's really up to you. So this is where you can manipulate the maximum file size. The other one setting that I want to bring to your attention is this one here, level. Level, it's set to error. However, if you are trying to troubleshoot something on DNN, maybe the site is not even coming up. Maybe it's not loading, maybe it's an installation, maybe it's an upgrade, or maybe it's just installing a module or something else. You may want to, to replace error by all. This way, not only errors will be logged, but warnings as well. Information will be logged as well. This, this will be all useful information that will be logged. So you can, again, try to troubleshoot what might be going wrong on your DNN website. Now, this is one aspect. So controlling a little bit the configuration of Log4Net. The other aspect that I want to mention is the fact that the log folder can become, can grow wildly. It can grow very big. I have seen sites with this folder growing a lot, a lot. I'm just going to give an example here. On my own website, this is DNN Hero website. You see how many files we have there. I'm just going to scroll just for this year of 2017 alone. You see how many? I'm going to order by a file size. You see eight megabytes, six megabytes. This can accumulate quite big over time. So the other point that I want to stress is that you should definitely here and there check out this folder and delete the logs. I mean, if you don't, if you are not making use of that, if you don't need to troubleshoot anything at this point, you can just remove everything that start that ends with a dot resources 
from this folder. You know, you don't need to worry about those files. Every day, if there is an error, the file will be recreated with the current date as the file name. So you don't need to worry about the name. You may want to back this up if you want to look at things later on down the road, but you are safe just to delete them. At the end of the day, those resource files, they are just simple text file. So you can just open them in a, a notepad or any other text editor that you may be using. Now, one thing that I've tried to do is I've tried to, to use a module called, and I'm going to bring to your attention here, called a, a file clean cleaner, which is a, supposed to be a module that helps to clean up unwanted files like those log files. I wasn't able to make it work 100% for me yet. Once I'm able to make it work, I'll, sh I'll show that to you guys as well. But that hopefully will be a module that I can use on DNN sites where it will keep the log files clean. You don't have to clean the files manually. So that's it. That's how you can, one, configure a little bit better your log4net file, and two, where you should go to clean them up to make sure that, you know, it's not growing wild for you. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.